Okay, so that's transferring funds. Uh, now, with regards to obviously the pound, it's a bit of a roller coaster at the moment. It's going up and down. Yeah. Obviously, we need to give consideration to Australian businesses around obviously transferring money, etc., and exchange rates. Mm. Yep. Big one at the moment. Are yep. there any strategies or recommendations you can give? Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, from from yourself in terms of how to uh, support yeah. or things that you should be aware of. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I, I'm going to come back to this point around. You know, what, what what are you standing something up in the UK for in the first place, really? And mm. how you know from a, a almost from an economic value perspective, is it something that you know you need to manage the risk on or not? And how big of that? risk is it to your business in a sort of a broader setting really so you know if you were uh, come back to this you know one contract sort of scenario and that maybe forms less than one or two percent of your revenues and it's going to stay that way yeah it might well be that you know you generate those revenues and you send them back at the prevailing spot rate and actually the downside is probably not going to have too much of an impact on your earnings and your cash generation because it's only a small part of your business. Yeah. Um, if you're talking about, you know, standing up something in the UK that's, you know, of an equal size to your business or, you know, it's a, it's a European headquarters too, yeah. uh, a, a, a bigger a bigger expansion and a growth plan, then actually there probably is worthwhile having a conversation with uh, you know, a, a bank or another sort of boutique provider around how do you manage the risks associated with gen just generating the value, but then yeah. translating that back to Australia. If that's the you know if that's the approach really, and yeah. so there are there are instruments. Uh, I would probably talk to Imagine quite complex instruments as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, they can be, but yeah. they can be pretty straightforward as well. Yeah. Um, so, but but it does involve a conversation, and I think the key, you know, the key thing. Uh, with regard to foreign exchange actually and uh, a sense we'll come on to this uh, in a moment as well is that um, especially through a banking lens foreign exchange services are, are connected to and wrapped up in the Vickers report around ring fencing banks and yeah. what sort of services you can extend to businesses in and outside of a ring fence so yeah. um, some of some Australians may or may not be familiar with you know with, with with ring fencing, but foreign exchange definitely link into that. So if you need support, it's there. But again, I would probably you know have that sense check around. Is this something that's going to have a material impact on me? Yeah, yeah. Um, because most banks will have a you know they'll give you advice and access to these products and services, and they might need a bit more due diligence at the front end to to, to give you those. But um, if it's not significant enough, it's you know why would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space? Yeah, absolutely. That's good.